Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, I just want to quickly show you guys how I undervolt my graphics card. And my graphics card, and as you can see here, it's the really crappy and old GTX 1063 3 gigabyte. And this is how I pull a little bit of more life out of this card. Okay, uh, I'm going to be upgrading soon. Yes, I had to say that many times. Yes but it's happening um i've got the parts the money everything okay so let's get started so first thing you want to do i'm going to get rid of all the settings okay now we're back okay first thing power limit temp limit up press save go to curve editor our oh, first thing first go to your settings make sure unlock voltage control and unlock voltage monitoring are enabled okay press ok now do this press save go to curve editor well, this is where i do my shit okay so make sure you enlarge it so you can really look so i am gonna go from 725 i'm gonna click this press shift click it again and raise it up to 1500 could be 09 05 doesn't matter but around 1500 okay now now i'm gonna enlarge it a bit more so i can really grab the middle so in between this node and this node this middle line i'm gonna uh, press shift again click and drag all the way to the end okay so let's do that again all the way to the end okay now so shift click in between these two nodes and drag it all the way to the end should be like a little highlighted kind of like section now grab the next node without pressing shift without pressing shift and let's drag down go back to the uh, main window so what i'm gonna do is, now i'm just gonna make this smaller go back to the main window press this and that's gonna flatten the curve and that's it now um if you want you can have uh, something like heaven benchmark open in the back and just to see if everything is running correctly it should run correctly um, this is how i play but this is the same that i use when i'm playing my games so then i increase the memory clock just by like 300 to 400 and that's my settings for the 1060 3 gigabyte this probably could be the same for the uh, 6 gigabyte version but this is what i use and what this allows me to do is make sure um, that whilst I'm gaming, the graphics card does not go up in temperature too much. Does not uh, go up in noise, which is one of the main kind of concerns. And um, stable, it keeps the performance a bit more stable and smooths out the performance a bit and just allows me to kind of enjoy uh gaming a bit more with some of the newer kind of titles because this graphics card is coming very it's pretty much has it pretty much has come to its end and um just so i can play games to some relative relatively good uh with, with some relatively good uh, frames per second uh, i use this uh these settings here and it it works uh, it works relatively well um the graphics card does not end up fucking uh, going into beast mode and starts fucking you know starts roaring you know which is something that i had an issue with and this 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 uh this undervolt has actually fixed this issue so when i'm gaming i don't i no longer get these massive increases in temperature and noise so anyway guys uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope this has helped you be sure to check me out on kick.com slash vibe i'm going to be streaming on there uh i'm going to be buying uh, monster hunter worlds um 
I'm going to be naming the stream Monster Hunter Wilds Waiting Room, you know, because everyone is coming back to Worlds so they can, uh, so, so, you know, so they can wait for Wilds, which is coming out in 2025. And I am an OG Monster Hunter player. If you do check back in my old, older videos, you're going to see me playing Free the New Night. Uh, my first uh, Monster Hunter game was actually Freedom 2. Yeah. Back on the PSP. Freedom United was also on the PSP. But I think Freedom and Freedom 2 was on the PS2. So, but I did have Freedom 2 on the PSP. And that was the first ever Monster Hunter game I played. Freedom 2. And Freedom United was the game that I played the most. After that, there was Portable Third, which I do have a gameplay video of. So, you just, uh, just so you know, I am from the OG gang of Monster Hunter. Uh, the Monster Hunter series. I'm not just coming back because. Uh, I saw a bunch of people playing worlds and I decided let me join the bandwagon. No. Um, I've been in I've been in this uh, in this kind of uh, band base you could say for Monster Hunter for a long time, like ten plus years. And uh, just seeing the amount of people coming back to worlds has uh, piqued my interest and I want to play Monster Hunter again. So you're gonna see me on kick.com slash so really vibe. I'm gonna be uh, streaming there. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this tutorial has helped you. Bye bye guys.